All right, this is the test one review for MAT 1033 Intermediate Algebra. We're going to be looking at number 17. Number 17 says, determine whether the equation is linear or not, then graph the solution. So this is my equation, 2x minus y equals 5. I know an equation is linear if my degree is 1. Remember, the degree is just the highest exponent on my variables. So looking at my equation, I have 2x. So there's not an exponent here. So I know there's x to the first power minus y. Again, no, no exponent, but it's understood that there's one y there. So it's y to the first power equals 5. Therefore, my highest exponent on my variables is 1. So my degree is 1. So I know, yes, this is linear. So that's my first answer. So if it was like x squared, x cubed, anything other than 1, it would not be linear. So now I have to actually graph this equation. So I, because I know it's linear, because I know it's a, because I know it's a line, I'm going to try to get it into slope-intercept form. which is y equals mx plus b, where m is my slope. And then this b will give me the point 0, b, which is my y-intercept, which is my starting point, where I'm going to start my graph from. You could also do a table and plug in two points. Um, you can find the intercepts, many different ways. It doesn't specify, it just says to graph. So any way that you want to graph it is okay. So, but I'm going to solve for y. So I'm going to try to subtract 2x from both sides. 2x minus 2x is 0, so those cancel. I'm left with negative y equals negative 2x plus 5. I'm trying to get the y by itself, so I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1. So notice, I'm dividing this whole side by negative 1, so I have to divide this whole side by negative 1. So my negatives cancel out. I'm just left with y equals... Negative 2x divided by negative 1 will give me positive 2x. And then positive 5 divided by negative 1 will give me negative 5. So it might help you to write, write it out as negative 2x over negative 1 plus 5 over negative 1. These two negatives cancel out. Give me a positive 2x. Positive 5 divided by negative 1 will give me a negative 5. So putting this into slope-intercept form, I know that my slope is 2 which is 2 over 1. So I'm going to go up 2 over 1. I know that my b is negative 5, so my starting point is over 0, down negative 5. That is my y-intercept. That's where I'm going to start my graph off at. So coming down here to a graph, I'm going to go, this is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. So that's my first point. That's where I'm going to start the graph off at. 0, negative 5, over 0, down 5. And then I'm going to find another point based on my slope. So my slope is 2. So I'm going to go up 2 because it's positive, And I'm going to go over to the right 1 because it's positive as well. So from my starting point, I'm going to go up 2. And I'm going to go over 1. Boom, there's my second point. Connect the dots, draw a somewhat straight line, and that is my answer. Again, so I started at my starting point, started at my y-intercept, over 0, down negative 5, and I found another point based on my slope, which I'd go up 2 and go over 1. So that's where I found my second point, connected the dots, drew my line. This will be number 17 for the test one review for 1033 Intermediate Algebra.